Hi everyone, Married Espresso Press Design. Thank you for joining me on this Tuesday, July 30th. Hope everyone is doing great this week. The end of July, can you believe it? I can't. So first, um, thank yous to Nicole, Lisa, Heather, Elizabeth, Ranch Mom, Candace, Amanda, or Anadora, and Janita, and Jennifer and Marta, thank you for the lovely reviews. They help so much. And thank you everyone for your kind comments. Thank you for chatting with me. You really make my day. Truly because <laughs> sometimes I feel like I'm in crazy land and you help me um, stay grounded. So um, this is the newest paper. So all I had time to do this week is one for uh, Etsy, but it will be on Shopify much larger kit on Shopify and it is called Rusted Remnants and it's just all kinds of rusty distressed little collage wallpaper type sheets and you can either cut them out or use them as backgrounds so that's that for this week and this week you will need another 12 by 12 and we are going to make this loaded pocket but I reduced the size and we're going to make this size because it fits more nicely in a journal Like so. Isn't that pretty? You could uh, you could go around three sides and probably make that another pocket or another a tuck. Or I would probably go this way. But it can be it is very loaded. So you have a three pockets. And this one is the tightest one in the middle, and then one in the front. But let me show you here. If we have time, we will either do one like this, which is the original size of 12 by 12. And I'll either do it in this paper sack type material and then I actually turned it into a little bag because as you can see the 12 by 12 that's a very loaded very loaded pocket you could probably literally fit a greeting card in that center one I'm pretty sure And I forget who did it, but she had them in all different types of themes. She had a spa theme. She had a gardening theme. It was, uh, I'll put the link to hers because she also includes a PDF of all the, how to make all the things that she put in it. So that was very nice. But this is the original size which is a 12 by 12. And then after you learn, you can make them out of any digital. And if we have time, I'll do that as well. So first, um, you're going to need a 12 by 12, and I cut it down to 10 by 10. And then you'll have one 
two by twelve strip left over and one two by ten strip left over. Yes. Two by ten and two by twelve. And then you can make tags or whatever you desire to make from that. But this is very simple and let me do one more thing here. Um, where's my other one? I had two. Oh, okay. I did this front pocket in two different styles. One I just notched the front and then kept the back level, the back pocket level. And this one I, I turned over and I think we'll do this one. But just keep that in mind. You can do your pocket styles in different ways. So I'm going to start with our 10 by 10. Let me get the proper instructions here. Get that out of the way. So you'll need a scoreboard, scoring tool, a pair of scissors, some glue, and that's about it. Okay, so we're going to start on our 10 inch side, and I want these to be my fold over this part here, so I'm having that face down, and we're going to score at two point two and three quarters. I always say I always almost want to say 2.75 because <laughs> that's that's more how I think 2.75 two and three quarters flip it around do another two and three quarters and then turn it to the right and we're going. And then this one will be three and one quarter. Whoops! Don't, don't do that. Three and one quarter. Okay. So you have two and three quarters, two and three quarters, three and one quarter. Very simple. So let me just get these folded. And burnished. And then our three end a quarter is going to be on the bottom. So it's going to form our bottom two pockets. So we're going to fold that. And then we're going to fold this up. Make sure everything's Nice and straight. Oh, by the way, this these papers are Paige Evans Blooming Wild, and if I do the twelve by twelve, it's also Paige Evans Blooming Wild. I guess they have a different number. One is eleven. One is twenty-one. And I got those at Joann's. So there's what we're left with. There's our pocket. We're going to glue this. We're going to notch these, 
notch the back one and turn the front one forward. But first, we are going to bend these, fold these over to form our little collar. I'm calling it a collar. And I'm going to glue those down first. I'm going to keep this line straight as well as making sure it's perpendicular. Okay, there's our top. So I'm going to glue those down first just so they're out of the way. Hold that a second. So I hope everyone's having a great end of July. I accomplished our family picnic. Didn't want to come home. Went up to Cinema Honing. No cell, no people, no stores, <laughs> no nothing but trees and water and wildlife. Okay, so there's our top pocket. And boy, was it nice. And you can glue this either way, left or right. But let me see. I think I'm going to go left on top. And then the nice thing, you know you only have to glue down to here. So we're going to glue that together. And this is the kind of the only tricky part. <laughs> Make sure that's nice and flat so that when you fold it up you don't get a pucker. A pucker, P-U-C-K-E-R, because that would have a tendency to happen just because you have so many folds there. Okay, so now I'm going to notch the back part. I'm going to get this in here. And go over to the edge, because I want it on the edge. And put a little notch. So see, that's actually in the back. And then... I'm still on the right side and I'm going to take my scissors and cut down about halfway okay and then that's going to be my triangle and folding down to the cut line and that's going to form my front pocket and then I'm going to glue that down and you can put a little dimensional in there if you don't want it flat. Okay. 
And then lastly, get a little card in here so you can see. See, there's my notch. And then lastly, we're going to glue down the glue down the sides. See, I, I started to see. I started to get a slight poker there. I'm going to try to avoid that. And then this is our last third pocket. Okay. So there's our loaded pocket. And if you have a little trimming to do because of your cut. Just trim that off. Okay. So, and then you can take these, which I'll just take this one. Cut it in half. Make a couple little tags for you and I'll just save that other piece <coughs> for when it gets used. And then I'll make whatever else I want. <coughs> That will go like that. And that will go like that. So wasn't that, that's easy. Okay. Let me just get these corner Let me get my tag corner here. And I'll just make a quick tag. Whoops. Put those in there. Let me get something large here to put in the top to show you. Boy, this is a color riot. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That's the first one, a 10 by 10. So I have, um, where are we? Or 19. I think I can get the other one done. So I have two pieces here. A brown and another scrapbook. Which one should I do? Um, probably I'll do this scrapbook just because it's more colorful. So this time I'm going to use a 12 by 12. And then again get our scoreboard. And this one is a little trickier. I think I'm going to do it like this. And this time we're going to score at instead of 
two and three quarters. We're going to score at three and a quarter on each side. Three and a quarter. Turn it around. Three and a quarter. Turn it to the right. And then three and three quarters. We'll form our bottom pocket. Okay. And you're going to see how huge this is. This is going to be good for um, Christmas. Gift giving. You can really load these up. That's kind of why I decided to do it. Okay, there's our two. Oh, geez, you know what? I might have to go backwards because I didn't. Yeah, I'm going to have to go the other way because that will be upside down and I don't want that. Oh well. Darn. I thought I was paying, it, paying attention. Well, I was, but I should have. Should have flipped my paper and uh, put my 375 on the other side. That way, that wouldn't have been upside down. Oh well, it is what it is. Okay, so remember we folded that, and that is going to be our up pocket. You see how that's puckering? So when you get those glued together, make sure that center seam is glued tight so you don't get so much puckering there. That kind of bothered me. Okay, so there we go. And now we're going to fold these over. Oh, I love those. I love those little squares on the other side. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to glue these down. So then I, I take it you're watching enough that if you have a digital, you'll realize you just need two folds slightly overlapping in the center. See if you're making a bag. And then it's just a matter of folding the bottom up. And you could do that by eye. So this this little loaded pocket you can Learn how to make from anything or in your journal. I think this time I'm going the other way because I like those flowers. So, see, I love those squares. 
Hopefully I have another one of these. So I would just cut those out and use them as ephemera. Okay, so I'm going to make sure this is nice and flat. Nice and burnished before I do the next. See, if you fold it up too early, you got a pucker. Let it dry. That's what happened last time. I folded it up too early and I had to tear it apart. not dry. You know what, let me go the other way. That way I can stretch it out a little bit. There we go. That's better. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and do my notch. I'm going over here to the edge, and I'm staying on the right. I'm going to cut about halfway down. Fold that down to my cut line. And I'm going to glue that. I can tell I'm going to need a trim. It cuts a little ragged. Okay, get that glued down. Look how huge this is. I mean, you could put a card, you could put hot chocolate, you could put soup, you could put tea. You could put stationery, you could put paper. Yeah, if you wanted to do that for Happy Mail, you could put some actual paper in there because it's large enough. Okay, we're gluing our last pocket. I should load this up for a gift for my daughter's new roommate. That might be a good idea. You could put, I don't know if Dollar Tree still has them. They used to have those scented drawer. Scented, I don't know what it was. <laughs> a scented packet for your drawers, your lingerie drawers. Those might fit in there. Okay, here we go. Give that a tiny trim. 
that one little spot. And there's our 12 by 12 one. So let me get some things to put in there. Show you how large that is. There we go for that. And let's see. And there we go for that. Like so. Okay, and this is the first one I made. And it has my little book in there. And this is the second one that we made today. And this is the one I made. Uh, I had uh, this is a four inch uh, scrap, and I just folded it in half and glued it on the top there. Glued it on the top there. Put a nice little handle, and there's a little gift bag. And then here, I don't. Um, let me see. Maybe I'll have time to show you just a fold. Here's a digital and I just stamped on the white part. So let me grab a digital here and I won't do the entire thing but I'll just show you basically what you would do is just get it lined up here. center probably like so just so you have an overlap and then you would just proceed in the same make sure that's straight straight. Just a second. Okay, like so. And then you would just fold up your bottom. I want to do one of these first. That way you know how much to fold up your bottom. And what I did is I folded them and then tucked them on the inside instead. So I went like that because I didn't want the white. So that's what I did. And then I just folded up my bottom and proceeded as with the other one. And then where did it go? So then the back one was white, the inside was white, and I did the same thing on the bottom. I just um, folded it in instead of out. But you could also just put a notch Use your notch piece to fill in the back and leave
leave your other pocket straight. That's something else you could do for a digital. So there you go. That's an easy way to, another easy fold pocket to learn for your digitals and your journals and your gift giving. So okay everyone, that does it for this week. Uh, next week we'll be doing something different, different from the 12 by 12s. And um, I'm gonna try to make it to 20 for the 12 by 12s. But I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make it to 20 before I'll start on another size for an, a new series. But this has been good for me to remember all of these things and have them all in one place so that when I need them, um, they're all there and I don't forget them so much. Okay, everyone, thanks again so much for your time. I'll see you next time. Bye.